Zulzul, we now Fredache, the Sims. And when last we left off, there are no more roaming animals on Samuel's lot, all thanks to one sign that tells them to go away. Which means no more instances of going all the way over to the edge of the map here to go and clean pee. Which is really good for Samuel. But this isn't Samuel we're focusing on today. Today we're focusing on Dave. Dave, who unfortunately has a minor problem with large amounts of pee. There is some pee here, pee there, there's also some pee over there, and there's some over here, and there's some right in the middle of the carpet, and there's only one person that did that, and I'm looking right at you, dog. I know you did it, and you may give me that puppy dog look, but it's not going to work with me. You're very happy, by the way, and very tired, I think, yep, you're going to go to sleep. Only the fact that Dave is asleep is saving you from getting into trouble for that. So, uh, you go and rest and consider your lucky break while we go and advance some time. We have quite a few things we need to do tomorrow. The main thing we need to do is improve our charisma a tiny bit more to have a chance at gaining a promotion. It is going to be about maybe one o'clock before we're going to wake Dave up, and unfortunately, his comfort is very low indeed, which means it's going to take a very long time for him to get up. Then we'll have him have breakfast and use the toilet and then take a shower, and then turn on the television. There we go, we have a number of things that we need to do. Also, there are some cockroaches that we're going to need to deal with. There are now two groups of cockroaches, and I think the shower has broken, which is really, really bad. We're definitely going to need to deal with those cockroaches sooner rather than later. But our fun is very, very high now, which is excellent. Just filling up the bowl is a uh, good... Are you not watching? Oh no, you are still watching cartoons. That sounded vaguely action-y. But no, it's just cartoons, a different part of it that I haven't heard so often. There we go, fill that up there, turn that off, and then we'll just spray you very quickly. And then go and find the other group of cockroaches and spray them. I've no idea where they are, but we'll eventually find... Aha! You know exactly where they are. They are out here for some reason. Where are they? Ah, they're over there in the middle of the plants. Unfortunately, getting rid of them doesn't kill the plants, which is a handy thing indeed. We'll get rid of that puddle of uh, urine, and then that one has disappeared, which is very fortunate, and then there's one puddle here to take care of. And that should improve our uh, room stat quite substantially. What we need to do now is we need to very quickly improve our um, charisma, so that we actually have a chance of getting promoted. The hunger stat is down a little bit, but we can deal with that by uh, having a little snack right now. One quick snack, and there is no chance that you could possibly burn that, Dave, unless somehow you open it and it just spontaneously sets on fire. There we go, a quick snack there. It's five simoleons. It's really not worth it, but uh, it'll help just to uh, perk that hunger bar up a tiny little bit. Also, please get rid of that. Before, when you were by yourself, that's okay, but now you have a dog who would just rummage around in it, and it's a really bad thing indeed. And off you go to work! There is a small chance that you might get promoted. The room stat barely went down, which is really good. Having three mood rating when you go to work means that there is a good uh, work mood, which gives you a chance of being promoted, and that is always good. Also, we want to move uh, a few things out into the uh, front area, like this old newspaper, and also a leaflet that for some reason I think is in the middle of the bathroom. There it is. That is now no good to us at all, and I don't think you can unsubscribe to the uh, the newspaper of a leaflet. They always turn up every single day. We're really going to need to clean up these puddles that are just appearing everywhere. But hopefully we might get- we have been promoted to a bit player. You're able to support yourself in your chosen career. Barely. You've actually got a few lines to speak. Ironically, they often seem to be, may I take your order, sir? Building relationships in your body is important now. It's the same work hours, but the amount of pay has gone up once again by 50 to 200, and we brought home a bonus of 400, which is brilliant news, and we need two family friends and two points of body. And we're going to improve body by uh, using one particular item. I think it is, uh, where is it? There it is, the Exerto Bench Press Exercise Machine for 700 simoleons. It is most certainly worth getting it, though. Apologies for the interruption there. Let us resume, and put this item down right here. 
It's pretty safe here, I hope nobody's going to take it anyway. The thief, if the thief does choose to turn up, can take anything, no matter how large it is. And here I think comes Dog to come and say hello. Hello Dog, how are you? You've come to greet your master, and he managed to get promoted yet again, and he has you to thank, as he always does, because after all, who's a good dog? You're a good dog. You're the best dog. Hello, dog. I'm back home. We're gonna socialize with you a little bit, and then uh, we'll need to work on that body stat, and also work on making a few family friends, because we really need to get some family friends. The ideal situation would be for Dave to meet Samuel, because that is a uh, relationship that can be maintained on both sides. Like, uh, Dave can go uh, get Samuel to come visit, and then Samuel can get Dave to go visit, and they have uh, two, uh, effectively, uh, two periods of time where they can maintain that friendship. There we go, let's work on Miss Social Stat and get that uh, a little bit higher. There we go, and a little bit more play will always help. I think maybe twice more. There we go, we'll just uh, queue up some petting there. Time for some more petting, and then some more, and then we'll go and clean things up, like getting rid of that, and this, and that, and also that. There we go, much better. Your social is now at absolute maximum, and for some reason moving that tree did absolutely nothing for making uh, putting things from over there any easier to put in the bin. He still likes to go all the way over there and then uh, loop around, but hey, it still works in the end. Anything to get rid of? No, nothing to get rid of, but uh, watering those plants might be a very good idea. They do keep the room very high, also do not do that. Do not do that. That is very bad, dog. But I suppose because we're watering the plants, we don't have the opportunity to uh, deal with that. And there are flies everywhere. And flies are really bad. But hey, we are pretty much keeping on top of things, considering the fact that it's Dave we're dealing with here. Dave, who has absolutely no neatness whatsoever. And I don't think uh, going to uh, deal with the uh, energy stat is a good idea right now. But dealing with our bed situation probably would be. It doesn't really take that much to improve, just a little bit. Uh, energy 8 and uh, Comfort 7 is not a big leap compared to uh, Comfort 6 and Energy 7. And also the uh, kid's bed is one more comfort. We could spend a little bit more money and get a much better bed, but then we won't actually have any money left over to pay any bills, which is really bad. Anything else we could do? That is, Comfort 7 and Energy 8 is exactly the same, but it is a double bed rather than a single bed, and you're paying a little bit more for it not taking up as much room. Let's buy that, shall we, and get rid of this terrible bed once and for all. Much better. Much better indeed. What else can we do? I think actually that will do for now. Anything else you want to do? No, I think, um, should we, uh, we want to repair that. We definitely want to repair the shower again. The shower does keep breaking a lot. It's almost as if Dave isn't very careful when he uses it. But hey, eventually he'll uh, clean it and then everything will be okay. We might as well actually clean everything before we go to bed. We'll after all be, um, what are our hours like, by the way? They're pretty much exactly the same as they always are. The hours from the entertainer to begin with are actually quite reasonable, which is good. And there we go, is it uh, nearly done? It is nearly done, and I think it's actually done. There we go, one repaired shower. And cleaning that there is probably a good idea. And then flushing it, despite the fact that it probably will break like it always does. Yep, it broke. You're gonna have to unclog that. You're gonna have to unclog that later, aren't you? Time for you to go to bed. Unfortunately, you're just not having any luck whatsoever. It was like that first time, but it clogged. Anything happening here at all? Ah, there is El Bandito this time, and we're going to deal with you. We can actually um, deal with him directly, but we might as well call a service and animal control to get rid of El Bandito as quickly as possible, because El Bandito will wake Dave up if he goes through the rubbish. There appears to be El Bandito here. Can you get rid of him? 20 simoleons. You know what? It's actually worth it. It's worth it for peace of mind. There we go. El Bandito will be gotten rid of. And I think quickly as well. 
Is it very quickly? We'll just uh, have you go to sleep again. Because I think animal services... Ooh! Is Dog doing something about it? No, Dog is going to eat. But never mind. We now can get a good night's sleep, hopefully. Let's uh, focus on Dave here. So I don't think that he has a much higher energy bar than he actually does. There we go. I think it's time for you to get up now. Because you really need to go and have breakfast. And then... Unfortunately, unclog the toilet, because the toilet is a little bit clogged up, and using it will just mean a massive spillage of things. Also, uh, I think that may have been caused by dog. Maybe. Fortunately, you didn't burn anything down. We're having good luck with dealing with that, actually. And now it's time to unclog the toilet. There we go. It's not what you want to do at nearly six in the morning, but unfortunately your toilet is a little bit rubbish. It is very, very rubbish, in fact. And there we go. Everything has been sorted. Use the toilet, take a shower, and maybe you'll have some time to... Why are you howling at the phone, dog? We may never know why you're howling at the phone. There we go, a quick shower, and you may have like half an hour to catch up on your favourite cartoon. We've no idea what this cartoon is. I think it is the uh, Adventures of Yeti Man, the infamous cartoon. The Adventures of Yeti Man, that has probably long since no longer been aired, and he's just watching a, a DVD that has constantly um, just got stuck in the, uh, the television, and he can't get it out, because he has no acumen for uh, maintenance whatsoever. Two body points is going to be a little bit difficult for him to get at this point, but uh, we will work on it as time goes on. You want to turn that television off? Most certainly. You might actually want to clean that up as well. There we go, just clean that up first, and then go to work. You do have time to do it. There we go. Are you playing in the rubbish? I think you're playing in the rubbish, aren't you? Can we get rid of this before we go to work? We really need to. We really, really need to. Now is not the time to loop around. It's really not the time. Quick, run, run, run. Oh, too late. Too late, I'm afraid, Dave. You missed work. Which actually is not the worst thing possible. You can go back to watching cartoons, for instance. After all, the cartoons will always be there, Dave. They'll always be there. It's almost like he doesn't care that he missed work whatsoever. You can ignore the phone call as well. After all, the cartoon is very gripping. You definitely need to fill up that food, though. If only you had money coming in today to make up for that food that you're paying for. And fun is pretty much at maximum. Ah, it's not important, Dave. You don't need to worry about that. Might as well turn that off and fill that up. And you don't need to go water any of the plants. You do need to deal with that, though. You definitely need to go and deal with that, and maybe actually work on that body of yours a little bit. Just a few uh, points, maybe. Work out. There we go. Working out is not fun at all, and it does cost quite a bit of energy, and he really isn't very good at it whatsoever. You can see there really aren't many weights being used at all. However, every single little bit helps in building up his muscles and making him strong. If we're lucky, we could use this time to get both points of a body that we need. And then all we need to do is focus on uh, gaining some family friends, and he is very very tired. Time to clean up and see if you can work out some more. After all, you do have some more energy left to give. There we go. Work out until you are exhausted, Dave. You're probably going to be exhausted very soon, aren't you? And did you manage it? You did not manage to gain that whole point of, uh, that extra point of a uh, body, which actually I'm not surprised about at all. Also, here is another puddle that is in the middle of the uh, living room. This happens way too much, and it is time to scold the dog. As unfortunately for dog, we've managed to catch the dog red pawed in urinating everywhere. You know what you're not allowed to do, dog? You are not allowed to wee everywhere. You may only wee in the places that you may wee in. And I know I didn't actually... It's not nice to, uh, to make dog sad. But unfortunately, it's very difficult to clean up this urine when you're peeing everywhere. Especially on the carpet. Also, why is Waggles coming in? Who is Waggles? I've no idea who Waggles is, but you know what? You're not welcome here. You're going to leave eventually. Well, eventually, anyway. 
you'll find that there's nothing to do here, and then you'll go away. Also, we want to make sure that we don't miss work tomorrow, because missing work tomorrow is a recipe for disaster, because we'll get fired, and then we have to work all the way through things all over again. Also, at the moment, uh, being able to, um, did you just wee somewhere, random dog? Random dog just weed somewhere, didn't it? Well, it's time to wake up, I think. And then clean up and then water all of the plants, and since comfort was relatively high, it took much less time for Dave to get out of bed. Might as well keep everything nice and maintained. You're very hungry, I know. We'll deal with that very soon. And because he's very hungry, we have to get him to water every single individual um, flower here, because he won't just do it automatically. There we go. And with that sorted, we'll go and have breakfast, which uh, is something that he has managed so far not to get wrong. He may get it wrong eventually. And I'm very glad I didn't get him that little microwave, because I think he probably would get things very wrong if he... Uh, are you going to... No, you're just going to clean yourself, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. You can get that um, hygiene level a lot higher if you use the um, the bath, but we didn't really ever get round to using it because Dog was fine at taking care of Dog's self. There we go, a little bit of food, a late night snack, or as we like to call it, breakfast at uh, half past one in the morning. We really need to get you some cooking levels, oh. we really need to get those. And still no fire. I wonder why there's absolutely no fire going on, there really should be. You know, I think you might actually need another meal. Just have another breakfast. A second breakfast, as it were. There we go. Surely you'll do well the second time as well. And you've managed to urinate over there as well. But I don't think um, that's not apparently linked to Dog, or Dog at least is not being blamed for it. Alright, bladder is very, very low. I think it's time for you to uh, flush first and then use the toilet. The reason why you're flushing first is because uh, if you don't, I think the uh, toilet will clog up and that would be a really bad thing. And I hope you don't just um, accidentally relieve yourself before the uh, bladder... S nope, we've managed it. Marvellous! It's pretty bad when um, the bladder stat goes all the way down to zero. Hello, dog! We're going to uh, clean this up quickly, and then we're going to use the shower. We have plenty of time to deal with everything we need to, with our fun, with comfort, and with social. We do unfortunately need some family friends, and we haven't yet had an opportunity to gain, well, any good ones. The party we had was a very long time ago. Perhaps one day we'll make another party, and it will be brilliant and fantastic. <sighs> And for some reason, you then turned on the television, forgot you cleaned um, part of it up and left a bit behind, and now you're back to watching <laughs> cartoons. And unfortunately for us, uh, Dog has fallen asleep, which is not good for your social. We really need that social to go up, but maybe if we manage to keep everything else okay, we'll be fine. Maybe. We still have a good hour or so before uh, anything goes wrong. Also, there is uh, no uh, mail waiting for us. No bills, no nothing. You know what? Turn off the television and have a nap on the sofa. There we go. That wasn't really much of a nap whatsoever. We can scoot around and we can't nap. But hey, every little bit helps. Maybe we can actually uh, call someone and... Uh, not a service. We don't need to call a service. We'll just call someone and have a little bit of a chat, shall we? Let's go and talk to... Uh, we could talk to lots of people. Let's go and talk to Tiffany Burb and just, you know, say hello. Why not? Hello, how are you? Are you well? Ah, oh, we're having a conversation, which mm. does wonders for improving social that little bit. They also like talking about Better sailboats them. and... Uh, Everything else related to that, I think that is in the, uh, what's that actually in? Let's have a look. Sailboats, um, I'm not sure what, what that's in, actually. Oh, there it is, travel. They really don't like travel that much. I'm surprised they're having such an in-depth conversation about it. But hey, everything is good. There we go. And that is five points. That is probably just enough to uh, maintain a relationship if it's sort of teetering on the edge of uh, about to be, um, of about to go down from being a family friend. Let's get rid of these now, shall we? Get rid of those, and then uh, there we go. The long journey over there, 
And we will go to work today, because if we don't, things are going to go very bad for Dave once more. Off to work you go, and just explain away that you didn't go before as you didn't hear the car. There we go, that'll definitely work. They won't suspect anything. They'll totally suspect things, won't they? I think they will. What is going on with Dog right now? Dog is going to relieve, uh, to relieve himself, unfortunately, on the exercise machine. It's a good thing you're not at work right now, Dave, to see that that is happening. That is really bad. Very bad indeed. A few more, uh, few more minutes of work. Well, minutes for us, but hours for Dave. And now, 200 simoleons has been brought back home with him. And Dog is, uh, I think Dog already came to say hi. No, wait, don't do that in the middle of the road. What if a car turns up and runs you down? But no cars will ever arrive, will they? Who's a good dog? Ah, dog, if you could, could you scare away Carrie? We don't want the mail. We definitely don't want the mail. The mail is always a bad thing. Let's praise you, shall we? Well done. You did a very good thing. And that good thing was actually, uh, let's just answer the mail, shall we? There we go. The good thing was coming to say hello, but you're pretty good at doing that anyway. I think that's the male woman whistling. Whistling at the fact that she's sending bills our way. I don't think she likes us. I don't think she likes us at all. Alright, what are the bills today? 248. And that's easy to pay. There we go. Money is still a... L well, money is only a little bit better than it was um, when the problems started to happen. But the problems aren't happening right now because we have, uh, we have quite a lot of... Um, well, lot of uh, income generation in the fact that we have uh, 200 simoleons every day. It's not much different to... Uh, are you urinating there again? We are going to scold you this time round. That is bad. You should not be doing that. Not be doing that at all. And apparently us uh, um, cleaning this up meant that we couldn't actually scold Dog. Dog has come up with an infallible method of ensuring that we don't um, punish um, him for uh, getting rid of all of the... Uh, well for all the urine that he's um, making everywhere, and for us getting rid of it the old-fashioned way. Is there another puddle of urine somewhere? Uh, yeah, there's one over there. That does not surprise me. The animals do like coming onto our lot and just peeing everywhere after all. And so, when we come back, folks, food may be all but gone for dog. We're just going to go and replenish that, and then we may have to go and get some much-needed sleep in the middle of the afternoon. That, or we just uh, grind Dave down to the bone, and then ensure that um, we do something else, like improve social. Improving social might be a very good idea indeed, but that will be for next time. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Look at those cats. Those cats are being silly. And they're probably going to pee everywhere, too. If only they didn't pee everywhere. Dag-dag.